though there are several parameters for evaluation of left ventricular diastolic function by echocardiography the most commonly used are the pulse doppler mitral e by a ratio and tissue doppler mitral e by e prime ratio some of the other useful parameters are mitral e velocity deceleration time changes in mitral inflow with valsalva maneuver mitral l velocity isovolumic relaxation time left atrial maximum volume index pulmonary vein systolic bar diastolic velocity ratio mitral color m mode vp and e by vp ratio tricuspid regurgitation jet velocity and pulmonary regurgitation and diastolic velocity indicating pulmonary hypertension are also taken as surrogates of left atrial pressure in the absence of pulmonary disease doppler integration of mitral valve is usually done from the apex through the apical four chamber view the transducer is placed directly over the apex beat and the echo beam is directed upwards a good four chamber view of the heart is obtained showing all four chambers and both atrioventricular valves the doppler cursor is then aligned along the long axis of the left ventricle passing through the mitral valve the doppler sample volume is placed just distal to the mitral valve so that it picks up the flow in the left ventricular inflow the initial portion of the mitral diastolic flow is called the e wave early diastolic and the final portion which occurs during atrial systole is called the a wave normally most of the left ventricular filling occurs during early diastole and the e wave is taller than the a wave when the ventricular relaxation is impaired in diastolic dysfunction the atrial contribution to ventricular filling progressively increases and the a wave height increases so that there is equalization of the e and a waves as the severity of diastolic dysfunction increases a wave becomes taller than e wave this phase is known as e by a reversal still further the e wave becomes taller due to elevated left atrial pressure mimicking the restrictive filling pattern this is a type of pseudo normalization of the mitral flow pattern the upper half of the image shows the apical four chamber view of the heart the doppler cursor and the sample volume are seen along midline of the left ventricle the lower half of the image shows the doppler flow pattern across the mitral valve the x axis is time and y axis represents the velocity in centimeters per second a triphasic left ventricular filling pattern with an additional mid diastolic wave 